and welcome back to a short hot mess science. This week we're going to be looking at what happens when there are two parents contributing genetic traits um, when they are sexually reproducing offspring. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to start using a model called a Punnett square. So last week we used coins to just sort of use heads or tails to see what two choices of a certain allele, tail color last week, that uh, a parent would pass on to offspring. Now we're going to be looking at um, more um, a way to be able to sort those alleles and see all the different combinations that are possible for a single offspring by using this model. So one example I'd like to trace through a Punnett square is uh, an example of Mr. Nichols and my eye color and how those uh, color traits were inherited through our children. Um, so I have bluish eyes, and in order to have that, I need to have that double recessive. So I'm homozygous for the blue eyes. So I can write, um, I can write my eyes uh, genotype like this, little b, little b. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my husband, John, uh, Mr. Nichols, has brown eyes. And brown eyes can come two ways. It can come either as a homozygous um, B, B, big B, big B, both dominant, or it can be heterozygous where it's big B, little B. And uh, that means that even though he carries the big blue and the little, uh, the big brown and the recessive blue, um, the brown dominates and overshadows the blue. So he has the brown eyes. Well, lucky for me, I know which one Mr. Nichols is. He is heterozygous for brown blue because his father had blue eyes, which means his father had no other gene to give but a little b. Okay, so let's see how this works on a Punnett square. So I am little b, little b, that is my genotype. And Mr. Nichols is big b brown, little b recessive blue and so now I can cross them and so this one will be big b little b and then big b little b and then little b little b and little b little b okay there are four possible genotypes for our offspring every time every offspring has um, these chances and what that means is they have a 50 50 chance of being heterozygous uh, brown or homozygous blue so they have a 50 percent chance of having a phenotype of brown eyes and a 50 percent chance of having a phenotype with blue eyes and it turns out that all four of her children have blue eyes. So they never got that big B gene from Mr. Nichols. They are all little b, little b, just like me. And uh, their phenotype is all the same. I do want to point out that just because I have four children, it does, genes don't remember. It's not like this was my first child and she had blue genes, so cross that one off. Now these chances are the only three that are left. No, that's not how it works. Every time an offspring is created, this resets. And every child has an equal chance of having one of these scenarios happen for them. So to have four children that all inherited this or this chance every time it reset, that was kind of interesting that none of them ended up with brown eyes. So come back and look at how I crossed this and told you the difference between genotype and phenotype when you're doing your Punnett squares this week. 